And I won't know why it is I don't argue like this With anyone but you You do it all the time Blowing out my mind Just like a star Just like an angel You have a pit Feel like I'll never Just like a star Just like a boy Like a star across my sky Just like an angel on the stage You have appeared to my eye Feel like I'll never be the same Just like a song in my heart Just like Hola, hola caracola, it's your girl Cece and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this hair and makeup. The makeup is an easy summertime makeup look with like a glowy skin and only using two eyeshadows for the eye look. I don't wear makeup every day but this could be used as like an everyday makeup look. When I do wear makeup this is pretty much what I do and I'm going to be showing you guys how I've refreshed my curls and how I cut this wig and put it on and everything. I did forget to put the cap on but I don't think that's a big deal since my hair is like really short and I don't need to like flatten it too much because it's already really really short. Today is Tuesday so I'm not going to be explaining what I did step by step. Instead I'm going to be talking to you guys about what I learned this week. You guys already know the routine. Um, if you guys do not want to hear me talk for the rest of the video about what I learned and you just want to watch the video feel free to just turn the volume all the way down and watch it. So Sunday before going to church I stopped by the grocery store to buy some snacks for the kids and the cashier didn't even ask me how I was doing which like I don't they don't have to but I feel like it's customer service and you're supposed to so when I when it was my turn to be ringed up I asked him hey how you doing and he was like oh um good how are you and then I was I told him I was doing good then he kept like ringing up my stuff and then he asked where I was heading and I told him I was going to church and he was like, oh, wow, that's really good. A lot of people forget about God and that's not good. It's good to keep the men upstairs uh, in your list or something. And then I was like, yeah, that's right. And then I asked him, do you go to church? And he was like, well, I haven't gone since I, since I moved here. And it's been a year since I moved here. And I was like, why haven't you gone? And he said that um, he's been grinding and something else. I don't know what's the saying that you people say because I'm not cool like that <laughs> But I was like still why haven't you been going to church and he was like well um, As you can see I'm working on Sundays and you got to make this money So I'm working on Sundays. I got the Sunday shift. So I'm working on Sundays and I can't go <laughs> and As I walked out the store all I said was God comes first and then I heard I heard him say yeah and he kept talking but like I was walking out the store because I had to go I had to go to church and I just left him with that thought you know God comes first we love to say that God comes first we love to you know always say yeah God this and God that but when it comes to reality does God really come first in our lives does he really come first does he really come before your family, before your friends, before your career, before your dreams, before yourself, you know, it's really easy to say and put it in our bios, but does he really come first? And so today, this is what I've learned. This is what I've been thinking about this week and what I wanted to bring to you guys is attention to make sure that God comes first in your life because if he does everything else will fall into place and trust me when I say this because I've seen it happen in my family sometime last week I also watched this girl's video she has a godly dating channel and she was talking about how you can get back to your relationship with God when you have fell off because you probably like just put anything else first in your life before God and you just forgot about God for a second and how to just come back to him and she was saying how you can do little things as little as like praying five minutes in the morning or 10 minutes or maybe just even two minutes or reading the bible or singing your favorite song so that's my invitation for you guys today it's to stop and check yourself check your heart does God really come first in your life does he really come before that person that you love does he really come before everything that you've been working for does he really come first is he the first thing you think about in the morning and if it's not to try and do those little things that will help you put him back in his place try to Pray more, try to read the Bible, try to stop and get away from those things that are taking you away from him and do things for other people too. 
maybe just say hello to somebody or smile or tell them that they're that they look good tell them how you like their hair or their shirt or something do something nice for somebody else get out of your comfort zone and do those things that will bring you closer to god by making you more humble and making you more like him when you help somebody else it makes you feel good about yourself and it makes you keep wanting to do these things so i hope you guys liked and enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up uh share with your friends and family and i'll see you guys on my next one have a blessed and wonderful rest of the week Ta -ta! i still have time to talk but i don't have anything else to say so bye <laughs>